The Justice Department said today that it is investigating how FBI surveillance tapes of automaker John DeLorean were obtained by magazine publisher Larry Flint and then passed on to CBS News. And DeLorean's lawyer argued that broadcast of some of the tapes by CBS News now should be cause for dismissal of the cocaine dealing case against his client. Our law correspondent Fred Graham is in Los Angeles. A Bible toting John DeLorean arrived at his lawyer's office this morning in the wake of the tape controversy that's embroiled his case. The issue is whether John DeLorean was unfairly enticed by government agents into an illegal drug deal. The surveillance tapes obtained by the CBS News broadcast 60 Minutes from Hustler magazine publisher Larry Flint are only part of the evidence. But they do show four key meetings during September of 1982 between DeLorean and the agents. September 4th, 1982, in a Washington, D.C. hotel room, DeLorean discusses a vague business deal with an FBI undercover operative who offers to let DeLorean out of the deal. September 9th at a bank in San Carlos, California, an undercover agent introduces DeLorean to a phony banker who says he can provide cash for the deal. September 20th, the Bel Air Sands Hotel in Los Angeles. The phony banker, seated on the left, and DeLorean meet a suspected big-time drug smuggler, the real target of the undercover investigation, who says he won't get involved unless DeLorean was involved. I'd like to see some September 28th, the Bonaventure Hotel, Los Angeles. DeLorean meets with two undercover men. One mentions cocaine, another heroin. DeLorean did not back out. During the first three weeks of October, DeLorean assigned half of the stock of his company to the undercover agents, allegedly as payment for the drugs, and Hetrick imported 220 pounds of cocaine from South America. Hetrick was arrested and pleaded guilty, the cocaine was seized, and on October 19th in a hotel room in Los Angeles, the trap was sprung on John DeLorean. A suitcase full of cocaine was put before him, and he called it better than gold. Better than gold? <laughs> gold weighs more than that, for God's sake. A few minutes later, the FBI arrived, and John DeLorean was put under arrest. Fred Graham, CBS News, Los Angeles.